Hi, I am Paul Rötzer and together with Florian Bernhard, I'm excited to share with you our most recent work, Spider Match, 3D shape matching with global optimality and geometric consistency. This is a work of University of Bonn. In our work, we consider the task of 3D shape matching as finding correspondences between two non rigidly deformed 3D shapes in the form of triangle meshes, as for example, this giraffe here and this dog. Correspondences means that we want to find for every vertex on the triangle mesh of the giraffe, a corresponding vertex on the triangle mesh of the dog. You can imagine that this is quite intuitive for us humans to solve, but Unfortunately, it's very difficult to bake into an algorithm, especially when the smoothness of the matching should be very good. To visualize correspondences between shapes, we basically transfer color from one shape to the other shape. So, um, for example, we color the nose of the giraffe pink and we transfer this pink color to the corresponding vertex on the nose of the dog, and thus the nose of the dog is also pink. 3 shape matching actually has many applications, among which we find texture transfer, protein matching, shape completion, 3D reconstruction, and also applications in medical image analysis. As already mentioned, matching between two 3D shapes should actually be smooth. But the smoothness is very often overlooked um, by other methods. And to obtain such smooth matchings, usually a property which we call geometric consistency has to be enforced. We loosely define geometric consistency as matching neighboring elements on one shape to neighboring elements on the other shape. In this example, we can see that all triangles on the left hand side, which are neighboring, are matched to neighboring triangles on the right hand side and thus this matching can actually be considered to be geometrically consistent because the neighborhood is preserved and this is the key idea of geometric consistency like to consistently preserve neighborhood for all matched vertices to illustrate the importance of geometric consistency um, for now we don't only want to transfer color from the source to the target shape but also the triangulation this means that we apply the triangulation from the source shape with the matching that we have computed to the target shape and we can see that for a geometrically inconsistent matching the triangulation might be arbitrarily bad and quite distorted and we can actually not make up the target shape anymore but whenever we have a geometrically consistent matching, we can see that the triangulation is much smoother. And yeah, I think it makes it's much smoother. So there are lots of related works out there which try to enforce geometric consistency. I brought you an incomplete list, but um, on this list we first have the approach by Windhuis et al. from 2011. Here authors um, propose a quite elegant integer linear programming formalism, but unfortunately this does not scale to practically relevant resolutions. We also have the approach by Westen et al. from 2017. Here authors propose to refine um, initial matchings. Yet, they do not consider geometric consistency as a hard constraint and thus results might still be bad. We also have um, the approach by Schmidt et al, which optimize over intrinsic triangulations on both shapes and geometric consistency is actually a hard constraint here. But this approach requires user-defined landmark matchings as input. Um, so the search space um, is much smaller and you can imagine that this then is a much simpler problem to solve. And usually those user-defined landmark correspondences are not available. So in summary, we have identified geometric consistency as a quite important property for 3D shape matching, which is often overlooked, but actually it leads to high quality matching results. To this day, there does not exist an approach which is initialization three enforces geometric consistency as a hard constraint and furthermore scales to practically relevant shape resolutions. And this is where our approach closes the gap. 
we propose a method with which globally optimal solutions for geometrically consistent three-shape matchings can be computed. Furthermore, we introduce spider curves as a novel 3D shape representation. And with those spider curves, we actually formulate our novel integer linear programming formulation for this task. And finally, we show that our novel ILP can be solved efficiently and thus scales to practically relevant shape resolutions. All right, um, in this picture, I illustrated the main idea of our approach. So we have two triangle meshes, X and Y, and instead of directly match, uh, matching the triangle mesh from X to the triangle mesh of Y, we rather find a closed self-intersecting cyclic path on the triangle mesh of X and match this cyclic path to the triangle mesh of shape Y. But let's discuss this in more detail and find out about our globally optimal and geometrically consistent formalism. First of all, we have to, have to talk about spider curves. As already said, we want to find a self-intersecting and closed curve on the triangle mesh of shape X. But furthermore, this curve should also visit every vertex so that we get a valid representation of our triangle mesh. In this animation, we can see such a spider curve. This curve basically covers the whole shape which means that it visits every vertex, it intersects itself, and furthermore, in the end of the animation, we can see that it's also closed. Here I brought you two more um, illustrations of such spider curves, and in all cases, we can see that these spider curves fully represent the triangle mesh. All right, next up, we want to use those spider curves to formulate geometrically consistent 3D shape matching. For that, we start with the spider curve in a simplified illustration. The spider curve is basically just a cyclic graph. We also have the 3D triangle mesh of shape Y, which is basically an undirected graph, and we want to formulate 3D shape matching as matching the cyclic graph to the triangle mesh of shape Y. As a quick side note here, matching 2D closed graphs to triangle meshes was first introduced by Lena et al. in 2016. All right, this is basically just a cyclic shortest path problem, which is solvable in polynomial time by some variants of Dijkstra's algorithm. Yet it only considers geometric consistency in the dimension of the path. And what's still missing here is geometric consistency in the second dimension, which is somewhat the dimension which is orthogonal to the path. And to bake all this into an optimization problem, we have to consider the product graph between the cyclic spider curve and the triangle mesh of shape Y. The product graph essentially is a in layer structure graph where each layer resembles the whole triangle mesh of shape Y and a single vertex from the spider curve. And the problem then boils down to finding a cyclic path which goes through all layers of this product graph. As a quick side note here, in our paper we formulate this as an integer linear program. And here in this integer linear program, every edge of this product graph is basically a binary variable. And whenever this binary variable is equal to 1, this means that the respective edge is path of the cyclic path that we, that we actually want to find. All right, let's first discuss the shortest path constraints in this integer linear programming formulas. So first of all, we want to have a cyclic path. I already told you that we want to find a path which goes through all layers. So this is the first constraint that we need. This basically ensures that the path on the triangle mesh of Y is also cyclic similar to our spider curve. And the second constraint is that we want to have a continuous path. So for the path which we find on the triangle mesh of shape Y, we actually do not want to have any discontinuities here. This basically models geometric consistency in the first dimension. Next up, we want to discuss the geometric consistency constraints in the second dimension. 
And these are basically two additional constraint, constraints. So the first is that we want to preserve self-intersections. So whenever our spider curve has a self-intersection, we also want, the want to find the self-intersection on the path which we find on the triangle mesh of shape Y. And furthermore, whenever our spider curve does not have a self-intersection in a certain section of it, then we also do not want to have any self-intersections on the path that we find on the triangle mesh of shape Y. Yeah, and then if we take everything together and all those constraints, we basically have modeled geometrically consistent 3D shape matching. But unfortunately, this is not solvable in polynomial time anymore, at least in theory. But in our paper, we show that in practice, our problem is still fast to solve. And we believe this is due to the uh, shortest path structure from which we modeled our problem from. All right, let's talk about some experimental results here. First of all, we want to talk about runtime results. So here we compare to the only other approach which could enforce geometric consistency. This is actually a previous work of ours, the dark blue line here, where we wrote a custom heuristically um, solver for the optimization problem by Windhorst et al. And even though we wrote a custom solver there, we can see that this approach still scales much worse than our novel approach, which we call spider match. And this, even though that we just throw spider match into an off the shelf ILP solver like a Roby, for example. And with this, we still get solutions much faster and our approach scales much better. So for example, we can solve shapes with a thousand triangles in approximately 100 seconds. I also brought you some qualitative results. So first of all, we compared to a learning-based method by Chow et al. Here we can see that the tail got matched to the right back of this animal, which is actually something quite geometrically inconsistent if we take a look at the other parts of the matching. And when the same features which Chow et al. use are used in our approach, we can still that uh, we can see that geometric consistency actually can regularize away such problems. Here's another result by Eisenberg et al. Um, the arrow is actually quite hard to spot since it contains a partial left-right flip. So the left hand of the source shape got correctly matched to the left hand of the target shape, but the left foot of the source shape got wrongly matched to the right foot of the target shape. And we can see that a geometrically consistent approach can help to regularize such problems and helps to avoid such things as partial left-right flips. Finally, I brought you also a result by Renat al. And here we can see that geometric consistency got violated to quite an extent. So for example, the left foot of the source shape got not only matched to the head, but also to the left arm. And this is quite geometrically inconsistent. All right, um, in our paper, we also compare to competitors on four different data sets. I don't want to bore you with numbers here. So if you're really interested, please uh, take a look um, at our paper. Finally, I want to conclude. With this talk, I introduced you to spider curves, um, which we consider to be a quite novel 3D shape discretization for the complex task of geometrically consistent 3D shape matching and potentially also for other tasks. With those spider curves, we formulate a integer linear program which allows to enforce geometric consistency, not only in the dimension of the spider curve itself, but also in the second dimension. And we also have shown that our formalism is easier and faster to solve compared to previous attempts. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, our code, paper and video are all available on our project page. Um, please take a look there.